I just finished the proof of concept version of my open source project. Today, I'm going to show you what this looks like. So for some of you who do not know, currently I'm working on the open source project that allow you to do authentication and user management with Superbase really easy. So if you go into the Superbase OS daily or cell, I put the link in the description to the documentation. And then you need to go to slash installation to see like the documentation, because if you go to the homepage, you will see this one because I have not yet uh, have time to do the landing page so that's why you see this one uh, and but anyway you just go to the installation okay so when you go to installation this is the command that you will need to do on the first one you will run in it and so this command it will do two things so the first one it will install chat cn and the second one it will install dependency like from superbase and create a file related to superbase and things like that and um, the reason that we install ShadCN because our component is built on top of ShadCN. So that's why we do that. So let's try to run this one, okay? So right now, let's copy this one and go into the project. So this is my Next.js project. And it I just uh, this is like the boilerplate from running create next project. And so right now, I'm going to paste the command that we just get right here. So as you can see, this will ask you to install the following package. So like super, super awesome. And right now it's this version. So just press Y. And so right now it will do two things. So first it needs super awesome. So when it's in it needs super awesome, it's going to create a super awesome folder. And after that, it's going to init ShadCN right here. So since this project do not have install ShadCN just yet, I'm going to, you know, install ShadCN right here. And this one just goes through all the, like, you know, ShadCN installations. All right, so right now our ShadCN is download is complete, and the next step is we're going to init Superbase. So when we init Superbase right here, we're going to install of uh, the Superbase uh, package. So if and also create like the libs right here with Superbase and create like the client uh, browser and also the servers from Superbase, so we can use this one later on. Okay, so this is will come out of the box for you, and also we create an env file right here. So basically, you can just go and change to your Superbase environment and yeah i think that's what it does so if you look at the chain so this is what chain from running that command so it will mix between install chat cn and what we does as well so yeah so and also if you have installed chat cn already for example if you use this existing project you can do like uh init and then skip chat cn so this is will do whatever that uh, we will install the everything that related to superbase and then it's going to skip chat cn so that is the init project so that's that's it so right now let's say if you want to uh, sign up the user so we can go into component sign up so and then we can go into this command right here so we can just copy this command and then we come back here and then we can paste and run this command so what this command will do it will do three things so first one it will do uh, it will install all the dependency that is uh, needed to make this one work and so right now as you can see it's installing form and if you look at this one so this is all of the dependency that it's run when we when we ran this command right here so if you look right now, I think it's almost complete. So it's install the React icon. So right now it's complete right here, okay? So if you look at the dependency that it's installed, it's first it's adding form and input and also adding the React icon right here because this is the uh, like library and dependency that to make this component that you see here working, okay? So right now the installation is complete. You can go into super awesome and then you can see this um signed up component right here okay so right now for example if you want to use this one let's go into the page of the right here let's we let's try to use the component that, that we just uh, installed and then you can just import the signed up right here sign up component from super awesome and the cool thing about this one is that I give you like all the source code so you can just change this one based on whatever like your application so that's why that's what I that's why I want to do this one so you can easy customization based on your application so right now if I ran I use this one so right now if let's go into npm run there so we can visit this one on the local host 3000 hopefully that everything is going fine and let's see I uh, so this is what it looked like uh, and after we install this one okay so Right now, it's kind of messed up. Not really sure why uh, we have this one. Okay. All right. All right. 
I am not sure. Maybe we can try to, for example, like limit the width of this one. Let's give it like a width 96 and see what it's like. Okay, I think the reason of this one... Hmm. <laughs> I am not sure as well, guy. So to be honest, I'm not really sure. So I, I'm going to fix this component. I'm going to fix this one. So, but as of now, so you can see, you get the idea of what I'm trying to do. Um, so it, it's, it's something that it's worked something like that. So, and right now it's through the installation. It will generate this component for you and, and then you can reuse it. But as of right now, you can see right now it sucks. I haven't tested. I just tested it on this video. That's why you will see this one. So I will come back and update this one anyway so but it worked as i would expect it so the command right here it will generate in the component and the this command right here it will generate like the dependency that everything that needed to make this one work and so for the next step that i'm going to do is to i think right now i change my priority since i'm uh, show you you guys this one so uh, i need to fix this one so i'm going to come back here and let's say fix um you know sign up component okay maybe i should add more description but i think i know what happened so fix sign up component so i'm gonna do this one that's my next priority but other than that i have something in mind so for example right here install chat cn right here and in, in it right here maybe i can using like the yes or no uh, command so when the user ran this command uh, we will prompt them like you do you want to install chat cn or not so then it's if the yes so we're gonna install chat uh, we're gonna run chat cn in neat and if not we're just gonna skip it so that's better than you know user have to run this command if they want to skip that is the next step and also the next step right here maybe i'm gonna do the same things uh, like you know yes or no question to install all the dependency or not something like that and also um right now the component right here it's just like a ui only okay it's just a ui but what i want is that when we run this command right here the component signed up i want it to like the component it will be fully working with the uh, connect to superbase uh, authentication api as well so right now it's just the ui so it's not uh, and it's not what we want so I'll, at the end of our goal is get the full flight like the full working component that connect to superbase api so that's the next step and yeah that will be the next step that i'm going so you can go through all the issues that i created so i created this one four hours ago i finished this afternoon and some still you know i haven't add like you know the full description on each issue just yet and if you want to contribute you can go and find uh, all, all of these issues and let me know like you know ping me if you do not have like any question uh, in case you want to contribute <laughs> um yeah i think that's all guys that's all i want to share with you the progress and the update of this one so i will go and fix this one uh it's kind of embarrassing to show you like you know <laughs> it's not working uh anyway um all right so i need to fix this one so thank you guys so much for watching until until the end here and if you like this video don't forget to give a like and see you in the next video